Great to see everybody. Welcome, everyone. Um, this, is, this is always a really fun uh, event uh, for me. I just wanted to talk about it a, a little bit. I think some of you have been to this event before, and um, you may know all this, and so just bear with me because it is a little reminding. But um, so we started the, uh, the mayor's list I don't know, about 11 years ago or so, I think more or less when uh, today's uh, awardees were in, uh, were in kindergarten, um, first grade, thereabouts. And the reason was that back, back then, there was a lot of consternation around the school system and around the high school in, in particular about um, whether it was functioning well. There was a great deal of emphasis, um, justifiably, on the, uh, the graduation rate, which at the time was really, really low. Um, and there wasn't a whole lot in the way of attention to high achievement. And it was important for, I thought, for the school, for the district, for the city, and for the individuals who were achieving highly to get recognition, to turn the spotlight to them. Uh, so the idea we came up with was something called the mayor's list, which is an all, altogether clever. And it's just, it's kind of like the dean's list. It's kind of the president's list at some universities. It's, uh, the, it's the idea is to highlight the achievements that are objectively verifiable. Right? In other words, you're in the top 10 or you're not in the top 10. And it's just a matter, it's, a, it's an ar arithmetic exercise. It's not subjective. It's not who's the favorite, who's, you know, who's popular, who's, you know, most deserving or anything. You're, you're in the top 10 or you're not in the top 10. And so in that way, because there's no disputing it, because there's, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's just is what it is. It's fair. And um, we wanted to highlight excellence that couldn't be disputed. And that's, that was the idea behind it. Um, the folks who have been the awardees over the last 11, 12 years or so have gone on to do so many great things, and I have no doubt that this, um, this group will be just the same. We're so proud of these kids. The thing that's different this year, two things that are different this year. The first is that, like most years, I'll know, I don't know, two or three of the kids, you know, or even, actually more than that, like half of them roughly, um, sometimes less. This year, I've known every single one of these 10 um, and have known them for a while, like every single one of them. I've known a lot of them since, um, you know, since, since they were in kindergarten, especially the ones that went to Winslow School. I remember them running around in the playground at Winslow School, which uh, is just all a little bit sobering for me, but um, as it is for their parents, too, we're all in good company. So, um, it is, uh, it's, it's become a thing, and I'm really appreciative of, of that. I have, um, I, I want to recognize a, a few folks. Um, uh, I want to thank, uh, first of all, I want to thank the Art Museum for hosting us uh, today. We've done it in this setting a few times, and it's always been, been great. I want to thank the superintendent um, for his support of, of ensuring that uh, there's room for high achievement. Uh, we, we, in New Bedford, uh, seek to uh, give kids the opportunity to, to, to run with their talent. And uh, the superintendent uh, has put his money where his mouth is um, in his first year is at the helm. And I really want to uh, thank you, Andrew, for, for that support. Joyce Cardoza, who's been at the high school for a while, but for the last five-ish months, six-ish months, has been the principal and is off to such a fabulous start. Um, she totally gets why the events like this are really important. Um, I want to thank, just by the way, I want to thank my staff, in particular Janet Barboza uh, and Melissa Sears for all their work in putting this uh, together. Uh, Janet in particular has a lot of fun uh, with it. You guys, if you didn't know Janet before, you guys got to know her in, uh, in, the, last, um, in the last week. The other thing I, people I want to highlight, I don't even see them in the audience, are the Barbosas here? Because I know they, had, they had the party last night. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> the after prom party. We, uh, the only thing that's missing, Janet, from this event is caffeine, which I think these 10, uh, 10 uh, grad, soon to be graduates will need after their night last night. But um, we're very, uh, so we'll try to move things along to keep everybody um, awake. So without further ado, so we do this. 
We do this David Letterman style with we'll a countdown from, from 10 to 1. And you, you know, I'll add one more thing. It's, it, one of the things that's, that's important to note this year is that there were, uh, I think, almost, a, I'm going to say across the board, for, for many people, there was a choice to be made to come to New Bedford High School. There are a couple of students who live outside the city. There are uh, some that have gone to middle school in, um, uh, in the, the Catholic schools in the city. And they made, and I, I'm not going to name names because I've had these conversations with a number of the parents here over the years. But they, but they chose to go to New Bedford High. And they chose for lots of reasons. But um, I, I will say on behalf of the school committee and, and the superintendent that we appreciate that, that decision you made, that choice that you made, because I think it's, it says a lot about the work that's being done uh, in the school district. So uh, without any further ado, let me, uh, let's, let's get on with it. All right. So we'll start off with Annabelle. So, uh, I'm on a first name basis with, uh, with these kids, so uh, pardon the informality, but Annabelle will be attending Springfield College where she'll major in physician assistant studies, and upon graduation, she hopes to become a physician assistant. And this, again, will be another consistent theme. We fully expect you, Annabelle, to come back here after you're done. Um, she was a member of the National Honor Society, Key Club, Whaler Wave, Great Outdoors Club, and Captain's Club, and she will also receive the capstone diploma. Uh, and then she was a captain of three teams, the swim team, the volleyball team, and the softball team. She was recognized as an all-star uh, as well. And uh, she, of course, enjoyed being involved in sports, but was also just really stood out in so many ways and is just such a great kid who's done so much and we look forward to having you come on back to New Bedford and Annabelle but congratulations so why don't you so come on up we'll do uh, I don't know what we should do to do it. Next up is somebody else who's just been outstanding in every way, and that is Maria Oliveira. So Maria will be attending the University of Southern California where she plans to major in political science, and upon graduation, she hopes to join the Navy and serve as a JAG officer. I didn't know this about, about Maria. I have to say, you, will, you would be a very good JAG officer, uh, a very formidable one. Uh, so here again, um, the link of sports and academic achievement. Uh, she was the captain of the varsity volleyball and tennis teams and was a member of the swim team where she gave swimming lessons through the high school's youth swim lessons program. She was a member of the Book Club, the Whaler Wave, the Captain's Club, the Great Outdoors Club, the National Honor Society, and South Coast Youth Court, where she used those budding advocacy skills. She received the Coach's Award for Tennis, the Capstone Diploma, the, she was in the AP Seminar, she got the AP Seminar Research Certificate, and was an AP Scholar with distinction, and she has enjoyed the relationship she established with her teachers most of all, which is very well put. So coming in at number nine, none other than Maria Oliveira. Come on down. to number eight, Angel Lynn. Angel. <laughs> a very accomplished family of siblings. Uh, Angel will attend the University of Massachusetts Amherst, 
where she'll study management. And upon graduation, she hopes to become a project or finance major, manager for a major company. Hoping back here, Angel, of course. Um, she was a member of the, both the varsity volleyball and tennis teams, and she served as the co-chair of the Mayor's Youth Council for four years, which she was fantastic. Uh, and she's also a member of the National Honor Society and joined the book club. And she also received the AP Scholar Award. She enjoyed uh, the support system at New Bedford High School and all the teachers who made her experience memorable. Angel, great work. You are number eight in the class of 2024. Next up, so I said a moment ago that I, I've known uh, each of the <laughs> awardees today for a long time. This, uh, this next one I was introduced to in an ultrasound. Um, <laughs> so Lauren Mitchell is, is ranked seventh in, the class of the class, seventh in the class of 2024. She will attend Harvard College and plans to major in art history. So she didn't, wasn't the one who picked out the art museum for this ceremony, just, just a mere coincidence. Upon graduation, she hopes to pursue a career as a museum curator. Uh, she was a four-year starter and captain of the varsity field hockey team and was named to the SEC and Standard Times All-Star teams. She was also a member of the varsity softball and tennis teams. She was a member of the book club, the Whaler Wave, the Captain's Club, the Student Advisory Council, the National Honor Society, and served as a teacher's assistant for ESL classes. She received the University of Pennsylvania Book Award, the AP Capstone Diploma, the AP Seminar, and Research Certificate, the AP Scholar and Distinction Award, and the Principal's Award. She uh, most enjoyed playing sports her, her, her senior year and making friendships. So coming in at number seven is Lauren Mitchell. Notice, you notice the handshake when she was little. We used to, after she did something, we used to do head butts, but we don't do that anymore. Um, all right. So coming in at number six uh, is Amelia Davis. <laughs> Amelia will attend Worcester Polytechnic Institute, where she will major in either environmental or civil engineering. We need engineering engineers, Amelia, here for sure. Upon graduation, she hopes to work in a position that ensures safe and clean water for all. She was a captain of both the swim and softball team. Well, I know she was an extraordinary catcher. Uh, she was a Southeast Conference All-Star. She was a member of the National Honor Society and Great Outdoors Club. She most enjoyed the school's art program, especially her teacher, Mrs. Boucher, and won uh, Best in Show for the 3D at the District-wide Art Show. So, renaissance individual going on here. Amelia Davis is coming in at number six in the class of 2024. Next up is Kiana Jones. Um, who settled on Columbia University. Um, and she will major in political science there. Upon graduation, she hopes to work as a project manager specializing in city development. Again, we've got a, we're holding a place for you here. So she was co-captain of the track and field team and played volleyball. 
She was the Vice President of the Student Advisory Council, a member of the National Honor Society, the Key Club, the Mayor's Youth Council, and the Great Outdoors Club. She has received the Massachusetts Student Achievement Award, the AP Scholar with Distinction, the AP Capstone Diploma, and is a Hispanic Scholarship Fund Scholar. She has most enjoyed her time on the Mayor's Youth Council, but she just did a really great job at, at forging lasting relationships. Coming in at number five in the class of 2024, Kiana Jones. The only guy in the group, of course. I don't know what it is, but. Um, so Carter Barboza's next, who's still, still waking up. Right? So, Carter, so Carter will attend Harvard College, where he'll major in government. And upon graduating, he hopes to work for the FBI and ultimately give back to New Bedford residents. See, this is, this is what we want to encourage. This is, he was a member of the Captain's Club, the National Honor Society, the African American History Club, the Great Outdoors Club, and elected treasurer his senior year. He served as a captain of the soccer team where he broke the school record for most career assists, which is a big deal given uh, the history of New Bedford's soccer program. Um, and then he picked up this other sport called volleyball along the way, um, and where he was the captain of the volleyball team. Um, and also indoor track and was an MIA student ambassador. He is a three-time member of the Southeast Conference Boys Soccer All-Conference Team, the 2023 Southeast Conference Boys Volleyball MVP, probably again this year, I don't want to jinx you, uh, and the 2023 Southeast Conference Boys Soccer MVP. He also received the AP Scholar with uh, Honors Award and the AP Seminar and Research Certificate and the AP Capstone Diploma. Um, and he's got a big game tonight. All right, he's focused on on now. But Carter, uh, Carter, you accomplished an awful lot in high school, and we're pleased to uh, award you the, uh, a, a member of the mayor's list, uh, number four in the class of 2024. Next up is Isabella Colangelo, Bella Colangelo. So Bella will attend Cornell University where she will major in biological sciences. Upon graduation, she hopes to work in a lab setting doing research. She served as vice president of the National Honor Society Great Out and Great Outdoors Club and participate on the math team, the key club and after school biotech program. She received the AP Scholar with Distinction Award, the AP Scholar with Honors Award, the Yale Book Award, and the AP Capstone Diploma. She has most enjoyed the countless opportunities in biotech as well as her AP courses which have prepared her for her future. And she played sports too, all that. Uh, so coming in at number three in the class of 2024, Bella Colangelo. <laughs> Sophia. So Sophia Perry is the salutatorian of the class of 2024. She will, <laughs> she will major in business administration and marketing at Northeastern University. Upon graduation, she hopes to become a business executive for a professional sports team. 
Sophia played varsity softball and was captain of the field hockey team and, and indoor and outdoor track and field. She received the South Coast Conference and South Coast Today All-Star All Coaches Award. And she's just, just a great athlete for a long time, ever since she was a little kid. She received the Junior Brown University Book Award for written and oral communication and has been recognized as outstanding female athlete by the MIAA. Uh, she was a member of the Book Club, the National Honor Society, Key Club, Whalers Wave, and a volunteer slash mentor for Special Olympics and Unified Track and Field Team. So a busy schedule for someone who accomplished an awful lot. So congratulations, Sophia, You're the salutatorian of the class of 2024. Then there's one, Eva. So, <laughs> Eva, I think with your record in high school, I think you're one of these people who can just start going by just your first name because everybody will know it. Just, just Kiva. Um, she has um, Kiva has left a remarkable record in high school. She will attend Yale College, where she will major in, in English as a journalism scholar upon graduation. She hopes to become an investigative journalist where she'll be holding people like me accountable, no doubt. <laughs> she received the Francis Gallishaw Award, the AP Capstone Diploma, the AP Scholar with Distinction, the Harvard Book Award, and the Silver Key Award for four different art pieces. She played varsity field hockey where she received the Coaches Award. She was also a member of the National Honor Society, Great Outdoors Club, Vice President and Stage Manager of the Drama Club, captain of the debate team, and elected senior class president. And that's it, that's all. Um, and she says that she has most enjoyed the sense of community at New Bedford High School, which is spot on. The valedictorian of the class of 2024 is Kiva Bank. Congratulations. <laughs> And so that's it. Um, I just want to say uh, I'm just uh, I'm just so proud of all what all these kids have accomplished. And uh, I shouldn't even say kids, but uh, I'm so pleased with what they've been able to to uh, to do in four years. It's pretty remarkable. And um, I just uh, I want to call up I have a couple of closing remarks, but I want to call up the superintendent to say uh, a few words on behalf of uh, the school administration, Andrew. So uh, first off, I'd like to thank the mayor um, for this event. Um, it's becoming a standing event now that speaks to, as we've heard, the sense of community at New Bedford High School. But as I look out at um, our 10 soon-to-be graduates, I, I kind of ask myself, well, what are we going to do without you guys? Because I spent a lot of time at the high school this year, and just to see you there has just been such an enjoyable experience. We've heard all of what you do. And I have a junior and a senior at New Bedford, a junior and a sophomore at New Bedford High School, and they look up to you guys. So I'm sure Ms. Cardoza and Ms. Kuda, who deserves a lot of thanks and a round of applause for Councilor Julie Kula. <laughs> I'm sure uh, they're asking the same question. You are, you are such a feature of the community at New Bedford High, so I thank you individually for that, and I thank your parents and guardians as well. Um, academics aside, these are wonderful young people and they're a credit to you and uh, your work over the years. So thank you all. Appreciate it. And I wanted to call up um, Joyce Cardoza, who's really hit the ground running as principal of the school, but she's been there for a long time. She knows all of you guys and she's so proud of you. Joyce. A little shorter than them. So congratulations, I feel like my cheeks hurt because I was just standing up here smiling at, you know, just listening to all of the accomplishments.
For me, I learned of many of your names when you were applying to dual enrollment and Academy of Honors. It feels like yesterday, and here we are four or five years later, um, and just so accomplished as young people. So sky is the limit. Make us proud. Congratulations to your families. Um, you all are a testament to, of like what high school can be and what you make it in taking advantage of every opportunity that a school has to offer you. So we thank you for that. You have represented us in the most amazing way and we are grateful for that. Congratulations. All right, so we're gonna do pictures in a sec. I just wanna just leave it with this. I mean, we're very, we're very proud of what you've been able to accomplish and we're very pleased that you have represented your school, your school district, um, and the city so well. I mean, it's, this is, um, it's, it, you, you do a whole lot of good by doing good in your own way. And um, so we're thankful for that. All right, we're gonna do pictures. Um, if you guys are awake enough at this point to do anything, we're gonna ask one more thing. We're gonna do a picture, where are we gonna do group them? Group, group, yeah, group, yeah, yeah, whole group photo right over here. Can I have all 10 please?